Let's welcome back Connor. He's got his December Florida tan for us in this edition of Starting Five. I will say, I missed the last uh, you know, two uh, segments of this. I do miss the Florida sun a lot, but I'm excited to be back. Nice and cold already. <laughs> We've got an early start for another Starting Five Friday to wrap up the holiday week. Callis making the trip to Orono. 12-10 Red Riots at the half. Abby Haney goes to Emma LaBelle on the fast break. Another Orono run up the court. LaBelle finding Aubrey Quinney down there on the block. Back comes Callis. Kate McPhee sets up Casey Small. Then McPhee drills one from a mid-range on the baseline after some perimeter passing. 20 to 14 riots through three quarters. Andrea Crocker with a big triple to really put it away for Orono. The Red Riots defeat the Blue Devils 28-23. Now, Lawrence High School is the site for this rematch of last year's Northern Maine Championship. Bulldogs with the ball. Madeline Provost with a pass out to Kaylee Elkins, and she banks it in for two. Lily, Lily Gray out to Provost with a flip to Nadia Morrison, and that's another Bulldog basket. Elkins to Gray, jump shot from the line, and she's got it. But here come the Tigers. Megan Carver with a toss to Taryn Nichols. That's going to be a long two-point shot. Then Addie Serber with a pass to Brinley Chasson gets two and one. Took a bit of a hard fall there, but she got right back up. She seems to be okay. Now check out this whole sequence. Provost keeps the ball in play with three defenders. The Bulldogs get the ball back out, and then this is some perfectly executed passing for the basket. Ben, count it. Lawrence takes down Gardner 74-59. They look awesome. I talked to them the other week. Old Town up against Herman. Hawks get on the board from the field with Bella Bowden a couple minutes in. Old Town still in front. Katie Dumond after a quick inbound scores there. Then Elizabeth Magoon starting to take over goes to Sage Evans on the fast break. I said she was taking control because right here in the final minute of the first, Magoon with a tough run to the cup. 17-7 Old Town after one. Bowden provides Provides an answer for the Hawks with the hard bank. They need more, though. Coyotes leave Herman with a 50 to 19 win over the Hawks. Now, doubleheader between Deer Isle Stonington and Bangor Christian. Maya Braun knocks down a right wing three for the Mariners. Then Megan Wendell bounces a pass across the paint to Maddie Eaton. Count it. Now we're gonna show you more from the Mariners. Riley Dorr to Wendell for a dash through the Patriots defense. That is another two point shot. Now Bengal Christian needing a spark in the second quarter. Grace Lewis goes coast to coast, but no good. But Sarah Brown cleans it up. Now Pats in the half court. Lewis tosses to Lindsey Duras and she nails it from downtown. Deer Isle Stonington grinds out a 22 11 victory over Bangor Christian. All right, on to the boys game of this one. Mariners and needing buckets early. Isaiah Hatch sticks with it after a turnover and then ultimately scores. Now, how does the Patriots' Jesse Booker rise out of this among the trees? <laughs> and one for the big man. Other way, Hatch deferring to Wes Trundy, and he goes off glass. Another contest there. 24 to 6 BCS after one. They keep rolling with Colton White out in front of everybody. The Patriots get past the Mariners 61 to 21. Elsewhere, the Bucksport girls defeated George Stevens Academy. The Lawrence boys got by Gardner. The main men fell to Minnesota. In women's basketball, Colby won while Husson lost. On the ice, the main men's team topped RIT while the women's team came up short against Colgate. In high school, Mount Ararat, Lisbon, Morse, Madomic Valley took care of business against Greeley Gray, New Gloucester. Holy co-ops there. Glad to have you back, Connor. I know, and I, I'm not going to lie. It makes me a little bit sad. We're not going to be able to do this until next year. Oh, man. <laughs> I, told, I told myself I wasn't going to make that joke. I had to. Way. I'm sorry. Well, because it's made so early, let me be the first to say Happy New Year, sports fans.